And speaking of noise, it's time to introduce our president and chief executive rock star, the Palazzo, the Venetian, and of course, the Sands Expo. Give it up for Mr. John Caparello. Bang your head. Yeah. So what do you think of the bourbon room? We want to take you back to the 80s when VJs ruled the universe. Video jockeys, remember? Where'd they go? We brought them back. And when classic rock was called rock. We want to bring you back to those times. I hope you like the dance moves of everybody here, and that's an integral part. Lots of people have been talking about the entertainment changes. There's been a lot of speculation. We've been thinking real hard about what to do. We went to Broadway. We saw a show, and we said, this is what we have to bring to Las Vegas. And that show is Rock of Ages. Woo, 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 woo. So beginning December of this year, you'll be able to see Rock of Ages here, and it'll perform nightly. And at the end of the show, the party will carry on right here in the Bourbon Room. So I'll be happy to answer questions if anybody has any, but first, raise your glass, hold it high, show the bourbon, and rock on. Cheers. Well, the Bourbon Room is a celebration of the show Rock of Ages on Broadway. And we wanted to say, how do you extend the excitement? How do you extend the fun? And 80s video bars were the coolest things. And it's time to bring them back. And somehow we had this idea of how do you extend the excitement of the Rock of Ages announcement and do an 80s video bar with all the 80s videos that we all love and enjoy. And we've even got Bartles and James on the menu. What we did was take the elements of the bourbon room. So we have the neon and some of the corrugated steel and some of the rough hewn finishes because the bourbon room was about to be condemned. And then we took that as the bones and then we said, what was the coolest Adios video bars? What did they look like? And this is what they look like. And we layered the two together. So Rock of Ages is a celebration of 80s music. It is a rock concert. It is not a Broadway show, although it's on Broadway and it's technically a show. It's a rock concert that features all the hits that everybody knows, and uh, it, they play the music over and over again. It's a raucous time. There's uh, shots served at, at the intermission, and it is just, it's a rock concert from the 80s. Hair bands galore. Um, we, we just have a vision of trying to reinvent and be relevant every day, you know. Really everything that happens in this hotel, in the Venetian and the Palazzo, is a microcosm of what happens in Vegas. But we've got all that can happen in Las Vegas within this building because of so much that we have to offer. 
So to that end, we want to be relevant and, and, and be fun and, you know, hip's an old-fashioned word, but it's okay to use when you're talking about an 80s bar. Yeah, it, it is about celebration. It's a rock concert every day. So once an hour, our servers are going to get up, they're going to do a couple of routines to journey songs, to you name it, and we're going to continue to drive the energy, and it's definitely a party. Well, for me, it makes perfect sense for this particular show. You know, when we first conceived the show and we're working on the show, we always had an eye for Vegas because it felt like the right environment for the type of show we wanted to make, which was just a ridiculous, fun, no excuses, just have a good time, leave your inhibitions at the door kind of Broadway experience. So then to bring it here to Vegas, it's like, it feels like home for our show, you know. It's, it's kind of reaching some kind of weird critical mass for, you know, the Rock of Ages world. I mean, with the show and this and the movie and everything, it really does feel like a really special moment where everything's just kind of reaching this, you know, kind of point for us. So, yeah, it's fantastic. I mean, it couldn't be a better time to open here, for sure. Yeah, I mean, you, you know, anytime you write something, and then Tom Cruise plays that thing you wrote, you win, like, or Alec Baldwin, or, you know, it's, you know, Mary J. Blige singing songs that you, like, put into a show, it's great. So, I couldn't be more flattered by the talent that has assembled themselves to be a part of this thing that, you know, we created, Kristen Hange, the director, and I created in a bar, you know, in L.A. for fun, you know. And then it went to New York, and now it's a movie, and now it's this, you know. I actually love this space. It it's actually reminds me less of, like, what the Bourbon Room is in our show, and more, it has kind of a vibe like the Roxy on the Strip, which I kind of dig. I always love that. That's, like, maybe my favorite club in L.A., like, as far as, like, a music club. And it's got a really rich tradition. So when I peeked my head in and first saw this, that was the first thing I thought. I was like, oh, they're going for this Roxy vibe that's really cool. And the fact that we're like right off of the Super cool. floor. Great location. Oh, yeah. it's great. It's really fun, and, it, and you can feel the energy in there. It's really cool. I did. I love this area. It's a great change, new, new transition to the Venetian. performance at the Bourbon Room at the Venetian. Fantastic. 